Hello, I'm Jason Ray, and in this video, I want to talk to you about some much needed supplies you will need to get before you go adopt that brand new rescue or shelter dog. Now, this is a no brainer video. You may already know this, and if so, skip right over it. But I do get asked these type of questions a lot. Things like, what type of collar do I get? What type of leash? What type of uh, cleaning supplies? What type of shampoos do you use? Brushes and things like that. And I always get asked, the most common question is what type of toys do I use for my dogs? So I'm gonna go over all of these, but first, let's start with the collars. So first on the list, what we're gonna talk about are collars. Now there's a wrong collar and there's a right collar, all right? There's more right collars than wrong collars. So the last thing you wanna do is say, uh, meet your brand new dog, get ready to take them home, and then put a big old prong alligator collar on them and start yanking them around. It's like saying, hi, how are you? Er, and then hurt them. So leave that at home. You're not gonna need that. Next on our list are these choke collars. And these can almost be worse than the prongs because when you pull a dog on the prong, at least he knows, oh, uh, you know, stop. These are the most annoying collars in the world. This is forcing the dog from the outside in instead of inside out. You want the dog to choose. So again, if you'll see these little, these little choke collars, bad idea. All they do is annoy your dog, okay? I've got a video that will teach your dog how to walk properly on the lead. So we'll get rid of that. Now the most common collar is just the normal buckle collar, which I love. I use this, this is actually Whiskey's collar right now. I use them a whole bunch. But if your dog is a heavy puller, you're gonna wanna get one of these. You can pick these up at your local PetSmart. This is a no escape collar. So when your dog pulls, it still gets tighter, but it stops. See, a choke collar doesn't stop. It just keeps choking them, or a prong collar. But this actually stops at one point, but it tells them, hey, you're pulling. So these um, uh, no escape collars are great. So those are our collars. Our leashes are gonna be easy. Uh, you're gonna wanna get one that matches the color of your collar. Okay, maybe you don't. I don't know, you may already have one. But uh, I always use uh, four foot leashes um, because I like to teach them to walk properly or if we're out and I say, go free and I want them to go potty or pee, I don't like the little short ones because then I gotta stand next to him while he takes a poop, right? I don't wanna do that. So <laughs> make sure you get you know, a four foot lead. So that's the leashes and collars.